Can you have a personal nurse in the Philippines? Reality is the cost of nurses to work in your house is pretty cheap. Also, a lot of medication is easily accessible from the pharmacy. I mean, we've even managed to get morphine before, um, which I don't think I could get over the counter in the UK. But there's a lot of access to equipment and medical staff that you would struggle to get in your own country. One of the other pointers on this is getting a doctor is fairly cheap. I think we pay something like 200 pesos per visit, which is nothing. Here in Spain, I'm paying 110 euros when we go private. Don't have to go private. We do have a free healthcare system. But like when Zoe got a bit of paper stuck in her ear, I could have sat there for four hours or pay the 110 and be seen in 10 minutes. <laughs> it's pretty obvious which one I went for. If I was tight on the cash, I wouldn't have I'll just sat there for four hours, but um, I was due to go back to the UK anyway, so it was a case of, I'd rather spend the money. Um, but the Philippines has access to so many things, and you can hire a nurse for virtually nothing. Um, I can't give you a figure off the top of my head, because it's regional. Depending on the demand in different areas, but also you may ha have a relative within the family that has done their board exam or waiting for their board exam, etc. Because you're not actually asking them to do anything specialist, you're just asking them to deal with your day-to-day -day care. So they're more of a caregiver anyway. Um, which, what term do we use in the, we call them just a carer in the UK. I was just thinking of terminology in case somebody was confused on it. Um, but the reality is it's, it's cost effective. You could have somebody for about a hundred pounds a month live in um, that would de deal with your day-to-day -day needs, which I think is a, it's a bargain. And at the same time, they'll be happy with the work. They'll be happy to do that, um, but also they're not hard to find. The Philippines is like a mechanical beast when it comes to generating nurses, engineers, um, and domestic helps the the whole country seems geared towards those industries um, for providing staff for other countries so there's no shortage of people that would actually be interested in taking that role and the other thing being is you may already have somebody within your wife's family or your girlfriend's family that would be happy to take the role on um, because it, I think this it takes them four years to become a nurse um, reality is it only takes about two years but they've stretched the course out because when when the economic started to slide they extended the course not that it really I'll, I'm trying not to be too political but let's just say within a lot of courses in IT nursing and other things they do courses on things like Rizal um, a Philippine hero etc got nothing to do with the actual course but these extra subjects are in a lot of courses because um, obviously it makes the course a bit longer. Um, but yeah, domestic helps and getting a nurse full time, very, very cheap. And like I said, access to medical care, it's, you know, if you're dealing with it yourself, the hospital will charge you a fee. But you can get a lot of the equipment, you can get a lot of things like the stuff for the drips and things like that straight from the pharmacies. The pharmacies have got loads of stuff that I don't normally see in the West. Anyway, thanks for watching.